Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for the next 10 days. It is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're gonna get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future. We will clarify that and get you some other cards. I have a new deck I'm also using that we're gonna pull one for you and get the message from that particular Oracle card. So um, if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's get into it and see what your overall energy is for the next 10 days. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. All right, so some of you, this could be you feeling a little bit like you're shutting down emotionally or you're a little emotionally withdrawn. Um, depending on, it doesn't matter your gender, but it's just a masculine energy with the king, clearly. And it's that side of you that I feel very protected. I, I want to protect my energy is what it feels like. So let's see what comes out. In the recent past, uh, this is a good sign because you're protecting your mental health. You're finally getting to a place where you feel a little bit clearer mentally and you're getting to the other side of something that's been on your mind or had been challenging you for some time. And I can see why you'd be doing that. So temperance, this isn't just about patience. It's Sagittarian energy. So it could have been some time in that between the end of November and December where you were finally like, like I need to really protect myself here shut down emotionally and just get to a much clearer space. And her energy is kind of back and forth. She's got one foot in and one foot out and sometimes going back and forth about feelings. So that could be why, because you may be taking some time to see how you feel, but you knew that you needed a clearer space to do so. And it does feel like you've gotten to a much better space mentally. So under that, we have the 10 of wands. Well, something has not completely been, well, no, I'm going to take that back. I don't, in the upright, it's like you're almost there and you're almost at the end of something. When it comes out in reverse, it feels like you finally release some burdens that you've been carrying for some time, which is a good sign. Um, and it's also good to protect yourself emotionally when you feel the need to. So let's see what comes up in your current energy. So we have the queen of swords. Good. And all this typically means, again, it doesn't matter your gender. It's just about getting very clear. It's like once you get to this space, you can make better decisions um, she moves forward with clarity, clearly, and she's also the one that will cut out anything that's in her way. I don't think this comes from a, a place of spite. It's just, this is my sanity. I need to keep it, and I'm not going to allow anything to interfere with it. So under that, we have the emperor, and this is a good sign that you're taking back control of things in your life. I don't really feel like it's somebody else's energy, um, but if it were to be, I would just say... Uh, this someone it could be somebody that was controlling in your energy that you couldn't deal with, but I think it's more about you taking back control of your own circumstances, your own mindset, your own feelings, and really preserving yourself. And then we have the high priestess. Something has popped in. It's like uh, we always know that we have ebbs and flows with our intuition, times that we feel very highly intuitive, and other times when we kind of wonder if it's still there or if we have to question it. In this case, I'm going to say this is what's coming into your um, experience more. So you're going to feel really highly intuitive right now, and that's going to help you make much clearer decisions. And again, that emperor energy is a good energy to be in because it makes you feel like you're more in control of your circumstances. And it allows you also to open up to trust the information that you're getting and the, it, either the guidance or advice that you're getting. It doesn't have to be from a physical person, just things that you intuitively know are the right things for you. So let's look at the near future. We have the moon in reverse. Ooh, you are definitely not in a space of being clouded by any kind of Neptunian Pisces energy. This is clear. Like nothing is going to be hidden from you in the future any longer. So anything that was kind of in the works, sometimes spirit keeps information from us or keeps things from us until the, the timing is right. So you're going to have a lot of clarity in the future as well. So, yeah. Okay, so you're getting some clarity around some toxic behaviors. It could be around codependency. It could be people around you that you had felt bound to for whatever reason. 
Um, maybe you didn't see clearly before the toxicity of another person and you realize that maybe there's some, we all have these by the way. So I'm not calling you out trying to be a, a shit. <laughs> I'm just saying we all have things that we embody that can be not good for us. So this could be being very clear about what those patterns and behaviors are that we have within and also recognizing that those people around us that do not serve us as well. So it's a combination of both energies I'm getting here. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, Aries, a Sagittarius. Let's keep going. Okay, so the Seven of Cups. So this is a lot of energies opening up. Can that cause confusion at times? Remember I said here you don't have it. So you're really not. It just feels like there's going to be other options out there. This isn't going to be for everybody, but I'm going to say it. If for any reason you are single or at that point where you realize something wasn't working for you and you're moving beyond it because you need to maintain your sanity, the Seven of Cups just says there may be other options out there and you don't know which direction to go, but it's necessary to be able to spot these types of traits that other people embody, uh, especially because when they do, it's teaching you something about your own intuition and what you know isn't right for you. So you may feel a little bit kind of all over the place emotionally um, with what's available external to you. Let's see what your challenge is. So we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. So for some of you, it may be hard to focus on just yourself and not be necessarily focused on the things that are external to you. And the King of Cups, again, when I say you're protecting yourself, you're withdrawing, that's what's so important and it may be hard. Maybe you've had your focus outside of yourself for a really long time or so much on other people that it's hard for you to fill your own cup. It is easier to take care of other people sometimes and not focus on our own stuff. But that challenge is just a slight challenge so you may find yourself in a place, for some of you, it's hard to think about moving on into a new love situation. Um, maybe you're not ready to offer yourself up in a love way completely if you're shut down emotionally. So let's keep going and see. All right, so I want to get a couple cards for the King of Cups in reverse. For some of you, yes, the possibility is you could have been dealing with somebody who's not emotionally available. All right, so the Wheel of Fortune. Something definitely did not work out or you feel like there's been some stop to the things that you hoped had worked out and that could be why you're withdrawing. And then we have the Five of Wands in reverse. So a lot of you, it's just because you don't wanna deal with drama and that makes perfect sense. It's also because you don't wanna repeat old lessons. And the Eight of Swords is coming out. Okay, so some of you, there was some time where you needed to take a step back, shut down emotionally because you felt a little bit stuck and that's why you're doing what you're doing. N not that you were shut down first, you're shut down now, I think, because you felt stuck mentally. But here, in the recent past, you've made a decision to move on. So that just explains where the overall energy was and the reason why you needed to do what you did in order to, like I said, to save your sanity. Let's look at the six of swords with the temperance. We have the five of swords. So being ready for battle, but he's already won this battle here and he's ready to fight. It's, it's like maybe in the past, you just didn't want to argue and fight and didn't want the issues. It was too challenging mentally and it was exhausting. And now you're ready for that battle because you're in a much better place. Yes, you could be still weighing things out emotionally, but be patient with yourself because you're being prepared to cut out things that don't belong and also to just be ready for any kind of thing that might pop up for you. I think your your mental state is so incredibly important. It is for everybody. But it's like I'm just not going to allow these things to take over in my mind. Temperance with the Ten of Wands, the Unburdening, the Star in Reverse. You may have already healed from some of this stuff. And some of you, you haven't quite fully healed, but at least you're releasing the burden of it, which is what matters. If you're not letting it consume your thoughts and take over your mind and your every day. So there still may be some healing that's happening, but at least you're on the right path. 
the Queen of Swords with the Emperor, we have lovers in reverse. Okay, yes, for some of you, this is the end of a relationship or the end of something to do with how you operate in relationships. No doubt with it in reverse, you've gotten very clear and taking back control of your circumstances and recognizing your own behaviors and other people's as well. So with the Emperor and the High Priestess, we have the Sun. Okay, so what Spirit's trying to basically say is they are looking out for your best interest. They obviously want you to be happy. You want to be happy. And that's what's kicking in. So the Leo energy, you could be dealing with a Leo, but more importantly, it's about your happiness. And that's what I think you're taking back. It's like you're taking your joy back. So the moon in reverse with the devil, we have the page of swords. There could be people that are paying attention to what's going on in your life. Um, there's some people in the background um, not everybody wants the best for you. Uh, you could have been dealing with a Pisces. That may be somebody that's in your past that's paying attention to what's going on. Maybe they too had things to say and um, have toxic behaviors. They may be paying attention to what's going on in your, your life. So the devil with the seven of cups, and then we have the six of pentacles. Okay, I, I just heard be cautious. With the six of pentacles, it's because there's people here reaching out. Be careful with what you do with your finances, especially if there are people who have taken a lot from you financially um, and or you feel like you're constantly giving of yourself that way. It's time to kind of pull back um, the seven of cups. For some of you, it may be that there's so much out there that you want to do, but right now you're having to focus on reserving your resources so that you can give to the, the things that really matter most to you, that are going to be best for you. Now, let's look at your challenge with the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you, I, I think this is a question around, can I focus on myself? Are there new opportunities coming in for me? Can I believe that this is the right way to go? It is. You got to refill your cup. You can't be good for anybody in your life if you're not fully happy and emotionally in that great place and that you don't take care of you first. So the Ace of Pentacles, there, there could be some fear that some new opportunity won't come into your life. Maybe it's around love. Maybe it's around something to do with your work. And again, I feel like they're just asking you to pour into yourself over these next couple of weeks. All right, let's get some advice. Let's see advice for Scorpio, please. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. Allow things to slow down. Just because things aren't going at a rapid pace doesn't mean that things aren't moving. It just means that either there's, sometimes we need to cut off communication with people and that may be something that you need to do. That was one message. The other is if things seem to be moving a little bit slow, it's okay, chariot, because this is one of those moments where you're processing. So if it doesn't feel like you're gonna get something that you want, a new beginning in some area of your life. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's some work opportunity or um, just having the ability to focus on you. They're slowing things down so that you can. It always happens when they want you to really focus on yourself. Yep, four swords. They're telling you to take a minute. Think things through. Take care of yourself. Rest. Make sure that you're processing everything and making clear decisions. And again, temperance in the upright. And I joked, because I think this came out in the cancer reading. I, I always tell this to my clients. Yeah, I scream at my angels and guides. We all have moments where we're so frustrated. But what they're asking you to do is just have patience with them. Because they hear you. And they know what you're trying to move into. But they're asking you to take a little bit of a break. Because if you finally got into a place where you feel mentally clear, now we're going to start bringing in other things that are going to make sense. You're going to understand why you're having to kind of sit back or why things aren't pushing forward as quickly as maybe you had hoped. Let's get one more card, Queen of Wands. But this is a perfect card to come after because what that's saying is you're very attractive and your confidence is being rebuilt. And it's important to have the time to rebuild that. Some of us have natural confidence and most Scorpios do, but we also have parts of us that aren't. And if they're rebuilding that for you, they need you to have the space, the time, and the energy to do that. Okay. Let's get a couple of cards from the Lover's Oracle, depending on 
It doesn't always end up being about love. Let's see. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So just because we don't know exactly where that path is going doesn't mean that it isn't clear. Sometimes we just have to understand that something doesn't work and we have to open up to the new possibilities. Let's see what's next. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay. Some things, again, take time. And then a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Whoever that was that popped into your head when I read that message. Soulmate, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So as I always say, we have a ton of soulmates. But if you're thinking about somebody specific and there's somebody you're deeply connected to, that person is probably always sending you love. They always will. Because regardless of what your experience was with them here, they're part of your soul family. All right, so let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And then I'm going to pull one of the cards from Nature's Compass. This was a pretty quick reading. I think it's pretty to the point. All right, what do we have... So we have fork in the road. Okay, for some of you, yes, this could be where you are. You may be feeling better, like we discussed, but you may also feel like there's kind of this, which direction do I go? I don't know which path to take. I will say this, the message that's coming through clearly is it doesn't matter which path you take. Both are going to be absolutely fine. We do have free will. So you could be born on the 13th, the 1st, the 3rd, or the 4th of the month. And then regeneration. So this is what's happening. And we're regenerating for long periods of time. I'm sure some of you are exhausted with hearing that you're regenerating. But this is truly what's happening. So this could be a, a current experience for some of you. It could be 46, born on the 4th, the 6th, or the 10th of the month. That's about new beginnings. The 10 of Wands was in reverse. So you're releasing some burdens in something new. So a part of you with that Queen of Wands is regenerating. That confidence is returning. Something is... You're going to be more attractive if you want to be to other people. There's just going to be a lot drawn to you now because you've gotten pretty clear and things have started to balance out and you're protecting your energy. And then breathe, which we all have to do at times. Sometimes we have to be reminded. If you're not taking a couple minutes to just breathe throughout the day, please try to over these next 10 days. Um, as I mentioned before, and I'll repeat again, as we get into this Pluto transit, we are 10 days in a working. It shifts on the 20th. So some of you may feel a, a need to just kind of do a little more meditating or breathing or whatever it is that relaxes you. You could be 29, born on the 2nd, the 9th, or the 11th. And then we have exchanging gifts. This, I, I say this, but not everybody has an animal. There's truly unconditional love. And I feel like Spirit's always trying to say there's tons of unconditional love for you and that's a gift the gift is to give to others and have them give to you unconditionally so you could be 27 born on the 2nd the 7th or the 9th or the 27th of the month as well okay let's see I have this new deck and I keep saying I'm going to put it in the description box I forgot to do so but I will add it so that Everybody can take a peek at it if you do buy your own cards because they're absolutely stunning and the messages are really beautiful. It is a client that I worked with that made them and I love them. Okay, so your card is the Cane Toad, number 19, Beautiful Change. I love that message. So I'm going to get to that in the book and read you the message because I haven't memorized them all just yet. Okay. So the cane toad, again, number 19, beautiful change. The message is the cane toad is here to remind us that we all have an inner beauty regardless of the outer image. Often finding ourselves in toxic and poisonous relationships because we have disconnected from our own inner beauty. Interesting, we were talking about that in the reading. Cane toad allows us, or hold on. I can't really see it. My glasses are bad. And the writing is small. Cane Toad shows us we can magically transform our current situation and create the beautiful change we desire. We are invited to see our inner beauty and rid ourselves of toxic people. Oh my God, that's exactly what we talked about. Places and things that don't allow our true inner beauty to shine. This card asks you to transform through your own metamorphosis and create the beautiful changes you have been 
wanting. So the key words are metamorphosis, change, and expose your inner beauty. That's what I said about the Queen of Wands. That is your inner beauty. That is you showing up um, as that confident, amazing person that you are. So and I think that speaks volumes as to what we got in the, the reading itself. And that just kind of brought it all together. So thank you for being here. Those are your messages. I'm sending you guys a ton of love. I hope you have an amazing 10 days. And it again, if you'd like a personal reading the information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. As I said, have an amazing 10 days and I will see you guys in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.